everybody. Jeff Levering with you alongside is Bill Schroeder and Sophia Minner. Thanks for making us a part of your Sunday. Ryan Braun has been spectacular in the month of September. We joked around with Craig Council being called Craig Timber. Now it could be Braun <laughs> Timber. He just knows when the light is brightest, he shines. Yeah, from the moment he got here in Milwaukee in 07, I mean, 14 years, I mean, he's been one of the most impactful players, not just for the Brewers, but in Major League Baseball. And September is when he really gets it going. And for this year, you got to credit Craig Council being able to manage his playing time extremely well. You can see what he's done in 12 games this month, really with sporadic playing time, month of August, the end of July. But uh, he has been carrying this offense, coming up with huge home runs in September, giving the Brewers a lot of uh, firepower in that lineup. So Craig Council, you know, managing that playing time up until September, and then he lets them go. And Ryan Braun's been good. Well, for Ryan Braun, he's going to join us in the top of the second inning, too, today. So we're going to have an opportunity to talk with Ryan Braun in what could potentially be his last home game at Miller Park here in 2020. So lots more coming up. We've got a great matchup on the mound as the Kansas City Royals give the baseball to Brad Keller. He has not given up a home run in 2020. Josh Lindblom has looked really good in his last couple of appearances, two out of the bullpen and one as a starter. Brewers again, they're going for this series sweep against the Kansas City Royals before divisional matchups coming up next week on the road. It's Brewers Royals game three coming up next. which didn't put up any offense yesterday. Only had one man pass for his base in last night's contest against Corbin Burns. It's brought to you by Hyundai. Merrifield, Mondesi, and Perez. Perez riding a seven-game hitting streak. Michael Franco, Hunter Dozier, and Alex Gordon. Edward Olivares, Eric Mejia makes his first appearance of this series. And Nicky Lopez, who's played great defensively this entire series. Josh Lindblom. Back from the bereavement list, he's making the start today, Rock. Yeah, last time out, his last start was back on September 9th, one of his better starts. That was in game two, or game one against the Cardinals. It was a no decision, five innings, three hits, no runs. He did make a couple of appearances out of the bullpen before that start. Needs a win at Miller Park. He's 0-2 so far this year at home. Let's check out the defense behind Lindblom here this afternoon. You got Yelich Garcia, Peterson in the outfield. Jerko Arcia on the left side here at second. Vogelbach getting a start at first base with Ryan Braun as the designated hitter today. And Omar Narvaez behind home plate. He's got good numbers against today's Kansas City starter. Four out of eight in his career against Keller. Our home plate umpire this afternoon is Chris Siegel. Eric Backus is at first. Todd Titcher's crew chief at second. And just team in game two of their doubleheader in St. Louis. Boy, that's going to be weird. <laughs> but this is his starting lineup today. It's brought to you by Hyundai, Garcia, Yelich, and Braun. Daniel Vogelback making his first start in the field today. Kira Jerko, Jace Peterson with Ben Gamble going on the injured list earlier today with that left quad injury. He's in the seventh spot. R.C. and Narvaez finish it out for Craig Council today. And Brad Keller, a lot of sinkers and sliders, Rock. Yeah, he's been really good, particularly at home. On the road, he's 1-2 and two and an earned run average near 5. But last time out against the Pirates, that was a win, five innings. Or I should say a complete game, five hitter in a shutout against Pittsburgh. Keeps the ball in the ballpark. He's a big dude. 6'5", 250. He opens up with ball one against Garcia. Man, he's a big guy, but doesn't throw all that hard. Maybe 93, four at tops. The slider's a good pitch. 